Good evening, I'm Tom Foster, a first year student studying business and management from Leeds Beckett. Today, I'm going to teach you about the marketing environment within Adidas as a firm. And now over to Tom, who is outside our local Adidas branch. Thanks Tom, as you can see, I'm here in Leeds, outside the Adidas store, and we're going to go to see what it has inside for us. Adidas is a globally famous brand that specialises in footwear, sportswear, sports equipment, and they even do accessories. Since it was founded in 1924 by a man named Adolf Dassler, and then it was established in 1949, Adidas has grown into a global powerhouse. The three stripes on the Adidas logo are easily recognisable as they're on the majority of the products. As you can see, equipment, shoes, different type of clothing. This specific brand is a uh, part of the business called Adidas Originals where they do clothes and shoes like this that differ from the sport equipment. Sports clothing and equipment has become 70% of Adidas's main income. Uh, this is due to sports such as rugby, cricket, running, basketball and mainly football due to the large number of fans that follow these sports. Of these sports, football brings the largest income as it is the most watched and played game in the world. Massive sponsorship deals such as with Real Madrid, European champions, uh, the richest club in the world, Manchester United and the world champions, Germany being a number of the countless teams that are sponsored by Adidas in football. In 2015, Adidas employed approximately 55,555 people. Footwear and apparel are two of Adidas's biggest segments. In 2015, Adidas sold 301 million pairs of shoes. So hopefully this has given you an insight as to how Adidas became the largest sportswear manufacturer in Europe and the second largest in the world. Back to you in the studio, Tom. Thanks, Tom, for that insight into how Adidas works as a business and the history of it. But now, we're going to head over to Tom, who's going to give us some information on marketing and the environments within Adidas. Thanks, Tom. Now, according to the Chartered Institute of Marketing, marketing can be defined as the management process of anticipating, identifying and satisfying customer requirements profitably. This means that a business will be fulfilling the desires of and wants of their customers while also being profitable for themselves. A company's marketing environment can be separated into two different sections. The first being external, which are otherwise known as macro environments. These external factors are beyond the control of the business and it can be due to several effects. For example, by using the PEST acronym, which contains political, economic, social and technological factors, we can see what affects the business. Political factors are issues such as the employee's health and safety, meaning that Adidas, as an organisation, have to ensure that their employees are kept well. Economic issues for Adidas are that they provide employment within a variety of countries worldwide. To decrease costs, Adidas has agreed manufacturing contracts to other countries. Likewise, labour charges to manufacture their products are significantly higher in Germany where the brand was established. Therefore, the majority of factories are based in the Asian region as it is the most effective way of cutting costs. Social elements for Adidas to consider as an organisation are, for example, Adidas sell football products worldwide. However, they need to take into consideration where their highest potential customers are. Within the, in the UK, Within the UK, there are many cities which most of them have local football teams. As well as that, within London alone, they have several. Therefore, the United Kingdom has a substantial customer base. This means that Adidas have to take the opportunity within the football seasons by promoting their products to expand the sales of their revenue to increase further profits. And finally, Adidas need to utilise the technological equipment available to them to the best of their ability. For example, using quality information systems and consistently updating their web pages. Doing this gives Adidas the opportunity to have efficiency in operations, which prim primarily will improve their overall production. This will give a higher standard of customer service and likewise will keep them in the lead of the market and may even give them advantage over their competitors. On the other hand, micro environmental factors are internal issues that can affect the organisation. An effective way of researching all the factors that can influence the company is by using SWOT analysis. 
This is a strategic planning method in which Adidas can calculate their strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. Firstly, strengths of Adidas are that they are highly associated with the leading brand for popular sports around the world. Weaknesses for Adidas can be issues such as the advertisement agencies are not considered to be as high a standard as their competitors such as Nike. Opportunities are widely available to Adidas. They can take advantage of new technology in addition to improving their current online business, which will result in a higher demand for their products as they are more easily accessible. Adidas became the first large football boot supplier to make laceless boots when they bought out the A16 Plus Pure Control boots. Threats that mainly concern Adidas are their biggest competitor Nike. Nike is a leading brand in footwear over Adidas and spends a considerable amount more on advertisement. Furthermore, Adidas footwear is considered as expensive, therefore the average person cannot always afford their latest product. This resulted in cheaper brands copying Adidas.